In this quick demo of the 3x backup appliance, we'll show the backup set definition, we'll show our block level delta generation, and we'll also show how to restore the data using our local client. So ahead of the demo, I've already set up the appliance. That takes about a minute or two. And then I've also um, installed our 3x client software, which is a very easy install process as well. So at this point, um, we need to define a backup set. So to do that, we go to the Manage Client tab. And you can see our client there on the left. If I double click the X in the tray icon, this is our local client. This is what they would see on the laptop, server, desktop, etc. So for the demo today, I've got a test folder here. I'm going to show it to you. It's uh, 319 megabytes, and there's a movie inside of it. So this is a standard, uh, standard folder, and we're going to use that for the demonstration. Uh, now I need to define that backup set. The easiest way to do it is the web-based manager. So to do that, we can click the name of the client, go over to backup sets, go down to new, give the backup set a name. Now we use rule-based backup, so I'm going to go to the 3x folder and I'll select that folder and any subfolder. Now the movie, uh, just to save some bandwidth and storage, I can exclude file types .mov. I can easily filter out that movie and we'll use that rule set. For the schedule, I'm just going to pick one of the daily predefined schedules. If you want to run it more frequently or less frequently, you can, but I'll choose a daily. The retention is similar to the old tape rotation strategy. Um, you can retain by the number of sessions or by time. Uh, just to keep the demo easy, I'll do a 10 session retention. And then the final screen is the option. So if you want to receive an email, if the backup is missed, failed, canceled, or completed, you can. Um, I won't do those, but there they are. So I'm going to press finish now. We've now defined the backup set. It's going to push that to the client. So the client, they can now back up, they can now restore, but they can't edit. So you want the worry that someone's going to alter these uh, rules once you've created them. So I'm going to run the backup now. This is going to be your initial seed. So we're going to back up everything in that folder except for the movie. So that's the backup going. And if I go over to history here, full snapshot, nine files backed up, nine files transmitted. So we backed up everything except for the movie. With that done, I just want to show you our block level delta generation. So I'm going to take our PowerPoint here and open it up. I'm going to change the font color here from blue to red. We're going to save the file. We're going to leave it open. We do open file backup uh, without, without problem. So I'm going to run the backup again. It's going to back up everything. Um, uh, it's going to recognize actually that the file had changed, only back up the block level change. So the backup's done. And we did get a full snapshot. That was a 1.7 meg file, but we only had to back up 96 kilobytes, so just to change. Um, and if we ever needed to restore that file, it's very, very easy. You would just click restore from the client here. You can do multiple files from a single set or a single file. I'm going to do a single file. I can restore that file, uh, PowerPoint. You can see there's two points in time. 1223 was the blue font. 1224 was the red font. Let's do the red font. I can restore that file to any directory or its original location. I'm going to put it on my desktop so you can see it. When I click finish, the file is restored to the desktop. So it's restoring it now, and it'll appear near the recycling bin. And there it is. If I open up, it'll be red font. So sure enough, it was the red font. So that was just a quick demo of the backup set definition, our delta generation, and the restore process. Thank you.